Greetings! Manta Ray 79 here! And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Card Fight Vanguard Dear Days Part 42. Alright, let's get started. Pressing the A button now. Loading game and proceeding. Here we are in the main menu off the story mode. And here we are, back where I last saved. For those of you who watched my previous video, I spent that time progressing further in the game's main story over here, and now in today's episode, I'm doing the same thing, progressing further in the game's main story over here, so before we head in, let's just go to the menu and to D-Skill Select, make some preparations. For the D-Skill I'm using in today's episode, I'm gonna be using... My Hope. Disable the opponent's D-Skill effect, selecting D-Skill, and... Okay, that's all the preparation I can make. Let's head on over to the story. Over here. A fight will occur during this event. Proceed this deck. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Yes, and click. And off we go! There's Yuki. Tell me, did Gosetsu ask you to do this? Who said that? Yeah. And it's Kanji! Honestly, I thought I taught you a lesson. That's not what this is. I'm here... ...for my own sake. Gosetsu-san told me something. He said he regrets never teaching you what it means to lose. <laughs> oh, he's really laughing it up. He regrets it? Don't make me laugh. Regret from a coward like him who decided to run away? <coughs> That's the kind of thought that only a selfish loser would have. I never ran. That's why I'm still undefeated, and why I'm always I'll always be undefeated. How could Gosetsu or even you understand that? <laughs> Take a look. This spectacle is revealed, reserved only for the victorious. <laughs> Looking down on everyone from here, it's irresistible. Wow, that's arrogant. Mm. Listen here, no, no good comes from losing, not a thing. It turns the strong into cowards. It makes you forget the taste of victory. It ruins your dreams. And it makes you run away. Winning is the only thing that matters. Yeesh. <laughs> I am revered. I can do how I please with Vanguard or even with people. This guy is just becoming more and more unlikable with each, with each word he says. Nah. Is that what you want? Nah. What else is there to want? Uh, For so me, well. losing to you that day, allowed me to discover a new part of myself. But it made me realize something too. That if you want to change, Vanguard will show you the way. That's why I've been able to see a world that no one else can. I want you to see the same. This is what I want you to know. So please. I see. Then let me make a request of you. Show me that your words and your will are true. Just try to find a way to make me lose. I plan on it. This is the one fight that there's no way I'm losing. And we're gonna start the fight, so let's decide on the deck. I'm gonna use in this deck, my the deck I'm gonna use in this match is. Keter Sanctuary, Sword Saint Night Dragon, Grand Brace, selecting deck. And the battle begins. Let's get started. Here we are in the fight. Gonna decide who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Scissors the rock, I lose, going second. So drawing our starting hands, I got two criticals, a Bedivere, K, and Angel. Not too bad. Returning the triggers, redraw. Front trigger and Chilling Angel, not bad. 
D skill activated. My opponent's turn. He rides the great one. Bad Steve. Steve skill. Burden to the back row. And soul charge. He soul charged a great three. My turn. I draw. I ride from the right deck. Little Sage Shamarin. For the right deck cost, I'm discarding a Atrocious Moth Girl Maple. Since our skill is her superior call from the drop zone, discarding Maple and right Wingo. I mean, right Marin. Wingo skill. Draw one card. I draw. Perfect guard. Pretty good. And that's all for me for now. On to battle phase. My Vanguard attacks the Vanguard. 8k. The attack goes through. Drive check. No trigger, perfect guard, sweet, good draw, one damage to opponent, boom, damage, damage check, no trigger, time Jarrett, safe, end of my turn, my opponent's turn. My opponent rides the great two, Diablo's anger Richard, Richard's skill, burning to soul, I draw one card, he calls Brainwash and Selfish Engraver, calling Ashurda. I can't let him soul charge early, so I guard with Painkiller Angel. Guard, 13k. The attack is blocked. <laughs> Shink, safe, and Unselfish Engraver cannot soul charge. Vanguard to Vanguard, 10k to 8k. No guard, taking the attack. Drive check. No trigger, Gun Wham, safe, 1 damage. Ow! Damage check. Critical trigger, ah! All effects to Vanguard. And now, here comes 18k from Ashurda. Should I guard? No, I think I'm gonna let the attack go through. No guard. Ow! Damage check. No trigger. Painkiller. Ah, not good. End of my opponent's turn. My turn. Stand and draw. I ride from the right deck, Blaster Dark for the right deck cost. I'm discarding. Passado, discard. Riding, Blaster Dark. Marin Skill. Look at the top seven cards in my deck for a Blaster. No Blasters available, so just shuffle back. And Superior Call, Wing Gall from Soul to Rear Guard. Call! Next, Blaster Dark Skill. Counter Blast 1, Counter Blast. Retreat Wingo, Retreat Wingo. And retire one of those rear guard, drive plus one to my vanguard. I retire from the rear guard, brainwash Swirler, and plus one drive to vanguard. I call Drilling Angel to the rear guard, call Angel Skill. I move Fasado from the drop zone into the soul. Look at the top three cards on my deck. Yes, a Fasado, just what I needed. Superior call Fasado. Calling, that should do it. And I call. I'm calling K to the rear guard. Nope, gonna conserve my hand onto battle phase. First, my drilling angel attacks Ashurda. 10k to 10k. The attack goes through and. Bang! One less rear guard to worry about. Now, Vanguard to Vanguard. 10k, twin drive. The attack goes through. Twin first check. No trigger, grade 3, not too bad. Second check. Yes! Critical trigger, just what I needed. I gave critical to Vanguard and power to Fasado. Critical added. Power added. Here it comes. Blaster Dark is gonna swing his sword and slash! Two damage to opponent. First, no trigger, Ashurda, safe, and second check. No trigger, safe, Selfish Engraver. Now, Fasado attacks the rear guard, Selfish Engraver, 23k to 10k. The attack goes through, slash, one less rear guard to worry about. Fasado skill, counter charge one, counter charge, soul charge one, soul charge. The card I soul charge was a Vedavir, not bad. My opponent's turn, he rides. The grade three Favernail, Favernail skill. I must retire one of my own rear guards. He retires, drilling angel. Favernil skill, hand card to soul, draw. He calls time Jarrett. And battle phase, 13k to Vanguard. No guard, taking a hit. Twin drive, first check. No trigger, grade 3, Vorpal Scythe, second check. 
Great. One gung ram. One damage to me. Here it comes. Damn it, shit! Critical trigger! I give all effects to my Vanguard. Yup, to my Vanguard. Fabernil skill. He's going to restand his Vanguard. 13k. And one drive, one to pass. Yup, gonna risk it. One to pass. No trigger, the attack fails, so... Good. Shink! Safe! Time Jira attacks Fasado. No way, I guard a critical. 28k, you're safe, Fasado. You're welcome. And that's the end of my opponent's turn. It's my turn. Stand and draw. I ride from the right deck. Sword Saint Night Dragon, Gram Grace. For the right deck cost, I'm discarding. 1k, discard. Right, Graham Grace, and Maple, hmm, should I call Maple? Yep, gonna call Maple to the rear guard. Call, and calling K to the rear guard, calling and activating Graham Grace's skill. Counter Blast 1, Counter Blast, Soul Blast 1, Soul Blast. Drawing one card. I draw a uh, heal trigger. Unbelievable. Find a superior call to the rear guard. Knight of Soaring Blade Fern Bail to the back row. Call. Power added and the ability to attack from the back row. That should be enough. On to battle phase. Fern Bail attacks the vanguard for 23k. The attack goes through and slash. One damage opponent. Ah, heal trigger, come on! He heals one damage and... Ah, no! Fine, Fern Bale skill. Soul Blast 1, I Soul Blast Bedivere. I discard Bedivere. And give my Vanguard power and plus one drive. Grand Grace's skill. Fern Bale goes to the Soul, draw one. Another Fern Bale, pretty good. Now... My Vanguard, hold on. Yep, Vanguard the Vanguard, 23k, triple drive. My opponent perfect guards. He discards for the perfect guard cost a gun ram. Triple drive first. Yes, heal trigger. I give I heal one damage, heal one, give power to Maple. Heal one, power to Maple, second check. No trigger, K, and third check. No trigger, perfect guard. Not too bad. The attack fails. Now Fasado attacks the rear guard. Time Jarrett, 13 to 13. The attack goes through and slash. Fasado skill. Counter charge one and soul charge one. No, I soul charge Graham Grace. I need a persona ride. Come on. Fine, whatever. Boosted by K. Maple attacks the Vanguard. 28k. The attack goes through. And slash. One damage. Damage check. Critical trigger. He wasted a trigger. Nice. Trigger effect wasted. And that's the end of my turn. My opponent's turn. Here comes Fabernil's skill. He retires one rear guard. I'm retiring one Maple Power to Vanguard and Critical to Vanguard, not good. Here comes Fabernil skill. Hand to soul, call, and skill of his rear guard. He retires my back row, not good. Again, hand to soul and Calling another one and calling. And rear guard skill, soul charge, and adding power. Well, he's really adding up the soul. Okie dokie, here comes rear guard to rear guard. I have two perfect guards, so I'm gonna let the rear guards go through. Focus everything on blocking the vanguard. No guard, taking a hit. Ow! Damage check. No trigger, Fasado. Skill, he soul charges. 
One, two. Yes, critical and draw out of the deck. I made the right choice. She may add more power, but she loses a bunch of triggers. Vanguard to Vanguard. I perfect guard to Lady Zell. Perfect guard. For perfect guard cost, I'm discarding a heal trigger. Discard. Perfect guard activated. Twin drive. First check. Ah, draw trigger. Come on. He soul charged two triggers. How can he still get another trigger? Second check. Ah, heal trigger. Come on. Double trigger and a heal. Unbelievable. Perfect guard. Could chink. Safe. And now, Faberdale's skill. He restands the Vanguard. And attacks again for 43k. I perfect guard to let him zell. Perfect guard. For the perfect guard cost, I'm discarding a. Heal trigger, discard. Perfect guard activated. Drive check. No trigger, perfect guard. Come on! Double triggers and a perfect guard. How lucky can he get? Kachink! Safe! Rare guard to Vanguard, 33k. I don't have enough to guard, so let the attack go through. Ow! Damage check! Ah, critical trigger, this timing. Wasted a trigger, unbelievable! Just add the effects and waste the trigger effects. Skill, soul charging two, critical, yes, two criticals out of deck. And already he's wasting the skill. Now my turn, stand and draw. Skipping the main phase, I activate Grand Race's skill, counter blast one, counter blast. Superior call to the sorry, soul blast one, soul blast. Draw one card, I draw. Uh, front trigger, whatever, I'm just gonna call Firm Bell to rear guard, calling. Effect added, and I'm gonna call to the rear guard, K and Painkiller, that should be enough. On to battle phase, first up, Firm Bell attacks the Vanguard, 23k. He guards him a heal trigger, 28k, attack blocked, and attack fails. Now, Firm Bale skill. Soul Blast 1, Soul. Soul Blast, discard 1, discard. Plus power and drive to my Vanguard. Then, Grand Versus skill. Firm Bale goes to the Soul, into Soul, and draw. Now, my. Rear Guards attack. Hmm. Huh. Nope, Vanguard attack, 23k, triple drive, he perfect guards. He discards for the perfect guard cost, a draw trigger, triple drive first. Yes! Over trigger! 100 million power to Fasado and. Yep, rear guards can drive check. Second check. Yes! Critical trigger! I give critical to my Fasado and power to K. And the third check. Come on. No trigger for mail. Not bad. The attack fails. Now here comes Painkiller boosting K for 26k to the Vanguard. The attack goes through and drive check. Yes, a Persona ride. One damage slash damage check. Heal trigger. Oh, he adds power but cannot heal. All right, painkiller skill. Soul blast one. Soul blast. Retreat painkiller. Retreat and draw one card. I draw. Fasado already. Now Fasado attacks the Vanguard for 100 million power. Two criticals. Ah, perfect guard. He discards a heal trigger. Now, twin drive, first check. No trigger, Bedivir, second check. No trigger, Fern Bale, so the attack fails. That's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. Fabernail skill. 
He retires my great one and power the Vanguard plus critical. Not good. Fabernail skill, hand to soul, draw one. Rear guard to Vanguard. No guard taking the attack. Ow! Damage check. No trigger, drilling angel. Scythe skill, soul charge 2, 1, 2. Brainwash the skill, adds power, not good for me. Again, adding power when he's really stacking it up. Fabrinal Vanguard, 23k. I guard with a front trigger and a critical trigger. Guard. 48k to the pass. Check. No trigger, order card, and second check. Critical trigger, ah, uh, not good. Critical to rear guard and power to rear guard as well. Kachink, safe. Now, Fabernil skill. He restands his vanguard. That's now 41k to the vanguard. I perfect guard. For the perfect guard cost, I'm discarding. One. Fasado, discard. Perfect guard activated. Drive check. No trigger, safe. So. Kachink, safe. Now here comes. Warful Cypher 23k, I guard a critical, 28k, attack blocked. Kachink, safe! Ugh, I made it! End of my opponent's turn, my turn, stand and draw. I Persona Ride, Graham Grace, Persona Ride! Draw a card, add power, Maple Skill, Superior Call. Superior Call, Maple to rear guard. Next, I'm. Activating Grand Grace's skill. Counter Blast. Soul Blast. I draw one card. Draw and Superior Call Fern Bail to rear guard. Calling. And then I'm going to call. Again, adding power and the ability to attack from the back row. I call Knight of Friendship K. Calling. Power added. And. Calling. I think that's enough. I don't have enough great ones, so... I think I'm going to replace Maple with Bedivere. Call... Not going to use Bedivere's skill. I think I have enough, so... I think I'm going to call a... Hardiness Tier Sorceress the back row. Call, power added. That should be it. On to the battle phase. First up. Firm Bale attacks the Vanguard for 33k. The attack goes through and slash! One damage, a damage check. Ah, critical, come on! Effects to the Vanguard. And now, Firm Bale skill. Soul Blast 1, discard 1. And power and drive to the Vanguard. I'm not get, I'm activating Grand Grace's skill. Firm Bale to the soul, draw one. For Sonorite, not bad. Now 33k to the Vanguard, triple drive. Keep perfect guards. For perfect guard cost, he's discarding a order card. Triple drive first. Yes! Critical trigger! I give all effects to Bedivere. Now second check. Yes! Front trigger! Power to the front row! Final check. No trigger, perfect guard. The attack fails, but... I think you can finish it off this turn. So boosted by K, Bedivere attacks the Vanguard. Skill activated, plus 5,000 power. 63k, 2 crits the Vanguard. The attack goes through! Slash! 1, 2 damage first. No trigger, 6 damage, I win! <sighs> that was a rough fight. Despite my opponent getting lucky with triggers often in this game, I still managed to eke out a win, so... I got win, double trigger, attack 100,000 more power, perfect guard three times, drew an over trigger, did a persona ride, eight turns pass, 
disappear a call, returned 5 ripples in units, and drew 3 more times in one turn. I got 3150 DP total, 120,000, 125 DP, pressing A to go next, leaving the fight, and returning to game's main story. <sighs> Here we are. Kanji is now silent. Silent again. Still silent. He's not going to say anything. I I lost. Impossible! Whoa, what a sore loser. I haven't lost. No, it can't be. A really sore loser. This isn't happening! Now he's in denial. How, how pitiful. I didn't lose! Now is acting like a spoiled brat. A lot of mood, swift, mood shifting here. I always win! Not anymore! Who's that? Who said that? Kanji surprised? He knows who it is? It's Gosetsu! You lost, Kanji! Go! Kanji, I'm sorry. I was afraid. You kept drifting further and further away from me. I thought that maybe we'd never be able to fight again. <laughs> I'm still waiting for you, okay? So if you ever feel like it, why don't we fight again? You must have felt so lonely, Kanji-san. That's what your vanguard showed me. You know, I was the same way too once. I admit, always winning might be something incredible. But it also means never having anyone to compete against. And Kanji surprised. Whoa, Yuki must have hit the nail on the head. Someone to compete against? Isn't it lonely never having anyone you want to beat? You would have had that someone if only I didn't run. Mm. It's too late for that now. It's not too late. Vanguard is always there, waiting for you. As long as it's what you want, what you wish for, you can always fight. Tell me I'm wrong. Yuki! Yuki Ichidoji! This new world you showed me? It's not half bad! Kanji! Kanji! Kanji-san! I suppose fights were something great all along. And the scene ends at a happy note. We're back in the card shop a few days later. The entire team's back. Oh, I'm getting so nervous. Huh? What for? Uh, Go Setsu san? <laughs> yeah, I'm totally fine. Go Setsu san? <laughs> Come on, relax. Uh. Yeah, sure. There's Yuki, <laughs> Rasen, and. Hehe? <laughs> ah! Oh. Looked like he's here. Oh, it's Kanji. He looks upset. Well, everyone looks mad at him, I guess. A lot of silent stares. Kanji-san. Kanji -san. <laughs> hey, Kanji. What took you so long? Okay, this is where the legend of Masaru Kita begins. I guess now it's on a happy note here, so... I'm going to overcome myself. This is where my dream of going pro starts. I'm going to spread my vanguard around the world. I'm not holding back, Kanji. You took the words right out of my mouth. Guess they're all getting along now. Hey, Kanji? Uh. 
Ugh. I've waited a long time for this. Kanji surprised. So have I, and I was happy, okay? I'm beating you this time, sis. Does it really matter either way? Just as long as you have Vanguard. Yuki, you're right. Let's go, everyone. Stand up. Vanguard! And I guess the game's main story is over, we're in the end credits, so we're just gonna let it run through. There's Grand Brace. Nirvana. Violence Bruce. Guess we're just gonna be rolling for the credits and changing cards. Bastion. Magnolia. Seraph Snow. Zorga. Orpheus. Bob Sarga. Greedon. Gravidia Nordlinger. For one's precious thing, Marola. Flagship Dragon, Flagbert Dragon. Approaching Fangs, Chaos. Master of Gravity, Barrel Magnus. Asthesis Kyrie. Heavy Artillery of Dust Storm, Eugene. Hexa Orb Sorceress. One Who Walks the Path of Light, Theagria. Mimish, Fordia. Heartfelt Song, Laura Doral. Fountain of Knowledge, Eva. Deepening Night, Tamayura. Purgatory Dragon Didi Faverdale. And we're back to Sword Saint Night Dragon Grand Brace, and the credits are over. I guess we're done with the game's main story now. Okie dokie, then what's next? We're back in a the cutscene. Vanguard, huh? 
There was Yuki back in school. Let's eat lunch together, Yuki! Hey, what's that? What? This? A Vanguard deck? <laughs> Something that shows me a new side of myself? Something like that? What's that mean? I wanna try! Me too! Oh, me too! Whoa, everyone's getting really excited! What's it called, anyway? Well... <laughs> it's called Vanguard! And... I guess we're back in the, the title screen, so... With that, this is all time we have for today. First thing I want to say is thank you to the viewers on today's video and to please stay tuned for more videos that I plan to upload again in the near future. I also want your show sure support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that, I say goodbye and see you all soon.